guys, my name is Shay, and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing All American Season 3, Episode 19, Surviving the Times. This is the season finale, and I'm excited to dive into this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get it. The episode starts off with an intense and heart-pounding montage of different things happening, from a fight with Spencer and the Beverly team, Coop getting pulled over by the cops, Layla's dad 2.0 calling her and getting worried, Asher is emotional and he's angry, and then it rewinds, and all, this goes back two days before all of this drama. Spencer and Olivia are at the restaurant. He asks her who is she rooting for in the championship. Olivia tells him that he can't make her choose between her brother's team and her boyfriend. This moment was really cute. She mentions that them being together doesn't seem real until they tell everyone else. Spencer says that he called Layla, but that she hasn't called him back yet. Simone comes over to them, and Spencer leaves, letting her and Simone talk. Olivia tells Simone that her and Spencer are finally together. Simone is not surprised and says that it's about time. Olivia is having a mini freak out and because she is worried about Layla and Asher's feelings, Simone tells her that they have moved on and to not worry about it. Preach is showing Coop the updated versions of the merchandise. Coop is still upset that Layla and Preach aren't coming to Vegas and Layla gives her the idea of releasing their original song, Family Over Everything. Asher is with his dad and receives some great news from his dream school, Coastal of California, and that they offered him a full scholarship. Spencer comes home and finds Grace and Billy in the kitchen, and he says that he has some good news for him as well, too. Spencer opens an envelope and reads a letter stating that he's one of the top senior players and that he is selected to play in the Platinum All-American game. Go, Spence! Grace and Billy are ecstatic for him, and I am, too. Like, he worked so hard and is finally paying off for him, so it's so good to see. Billy is in his office, and he's watching Spencer's interview on his tablet, and Frosto comes in. Frosto is in his feelings about Spencer not being at practice. And Billy tells him that he needs to focus on the game and not Spencer. Facts. Frost, oh, he always worried about Spencer. Like, dude, mind your business. <laughs> Coach Montez is with the Beverly team and Jordan comes over to her, questioning her about JJ starting his QB1 instead of him yet again. Like, Jordan, give it a rest. <laughs> she tells him that he needs to respect her decision. The team does some practice runs and Asher is tackled hard. And Coach Montez checks on him and he says that he's fine. Layla and Creepy Carrie are talking and she tells her that she spoke with her mother. Creepy Carrie freaks out, of course, and Layla tells her that her parents are worried about her and she doesn't believe them. Layla comes up with the idea of them going to Tahoe after she's done finishing with her finals. Bad idea, Layla. <laughs> Bad idea. In the locker room at Beverly, Jordan asks Asher if he's good, and Asher says that he's fine. Asher tells Jordan about Spencer being invited to play in the Platinum All-American game. Jordan gets into a Jordan and JJ get into a disagreement over starting his QB1, and Asher breaks it up. Asher tells Jordan to trust what Coach Montez says about her decision, and Jordan confesses that Spencer has been training him to get back on the field. He mentions that they went over the offensive playbook, and Asher looks worried, and Jordan stay making questionable choices. It's like, you have a brain, and you don't be using it at all when it comes to football. <laughs> you just let your love for the game just cloud your judgment. Like, man. At Slauson's Cafe, there is a party celebrating Spencer's accomplishments. Grace is giving such a beautiful speech, honoring him, and I love this moment. After her speech, Spencer comes over to Olivia, and she com she compliments Grace's speech. Spencer tries to kiss her, and she pulls away, and Spencer calls her out on it. Olivia says that she's just all in her head right now, and that they should start now with telling Jordan and Simone about the relationship. They come over, and Olivia has this somewhat awkward but cute moment of telling them. Spencer says that her parents still don't know, but that is a start. <laughs> Asher comes to Coach Montez's office and suggests that they should come up with some new play variations. She questions him why the sudden change, and he confesses that Jordan has been training with Spencer and that they have been going over their offensive plays. Coach Montez says that she will come up with something new, and Ash Asher offers to help. Billy comes to Sp Spencer's party and gives Jordan an envelope, stating that he also will be playing the all Platinum All-American game, which is great. Billy tells Jordan that he is so proud of him, and Jordan thanks him. Coop comes over to Spencer before she leaves for Vegas, and they have this great reflective moment of them both making it and accomplishing their dreams. I love their friendship. Spencer and Billy are reflecting on their very first conversation of him asking Spencer to come play for him. Deshaun Jackson comes to the party, and Spencer is shocked. Deshaun gives Spencer his props and gives him advice to playing in the All-American game. Spencer brings up Jordan's great news, and Billy says that he could have lost everything after that second hit he took. He says that he wished Spencer was still at Beverly, that way he could look after him. And Spencer looks guilty, and he confesses to training Jordan, and Billy is pissed. Billy tells him that he's the last person that he thought would betray him like this. Olivia comes over at just the right time to tell Billy about their relationship. 
Billy tells Spencer that he's so disappointed in him and that he let him down. Billy comes downstairs and confronts Jordan about training with Spencer before the doctors cleared him. Jordan brings up all the times that Billy has done things to get ahead in the game of football and that he's learned that from him. And I'm like, ooh, T. Olivia comes to the studio to tell Layla about her and Spencer being in a relationship. It's awkward, of course, and Layla changes the subject to Creepy Carrie. Olivia tells her that she needs to fall back from her, and Layla says that she can't just bail on her when she really needs her. Olivia tells her to talk to her like a friend and to be careful. And I agree because her mother told her the same thing. And it's like, you need to keep that she's not well information in the front of your mind because you truly don't know what she's capable of. <laughs> Coop and Patience are going over her new merchandise. Coop is sad that she is going to be alone when she asks his patients to come on the entire tour to perform their song. Patience says that she doesn't want to take away her moment, and Coop says that she wants this to be their moment. Their relationship is really cute. Billy is telling the Crenshaw team to get on the bus, and he bumps elbows with everyone else except Spencer, and he doesn't even make eye, eye, eye contact with him. <laughs> Yikes. Spencer gets a call from Olivia saying that she will see him at the game. Spencer tells her that Billy is giving him the cold shoulder and that he let him down. He worries that he won't be able to get his trust back after everything that Billy has done for him. Olivia tells Spencer that he just has to give Billy some time. She brings up the fact that she told Layla about the, their relationship, and their conversation is cut short by Billy aggressively telling him to get on the bus. Mo comes over to Andre at the Slauson's Cafe and tells him that it's time for whatever she's planning. Layla is with Creepy Carrie, and she suggests that before their trip, she goes to visit her parents. Creepy Carrie asks Layla to come with her, and Layla agrees. The Crenshaw team arrive at the stadium, and they see the Beverly team going off on each other. Everybody then just starts dragging each other, and long story short, both teams are fighting each other, and even their own teammates. Like, it's just a mess. <laughs> it's such a mess. And it's like, y'all are really doing this on the biggest game of y'all lives. You idiots. <laughs> idiots, man. Andre is packing up boxes on the tour bus, and he says that he will drive himself instead of riding on the bus. Coop asks him if he can get a shirt for patients, and Andre makes, it, makes up an excuse of why she can't get one from the box, and Coop looks suspicious, as she should. Both Billy and Coach Montez are scolding their teams for their behavior, and they were literally acting like straight-up fools. Like, both teams, y'all have worked so hard to get to this moment, and you throw it all away because you want to act like clowns and fight. Just, ugh. <laughs> Afterwards, Coach Montez and Billy have a disagreement about fabricating the truth about the fight so that the teams can play in the championship. The referee comes to them, questioning them about the fight, and they both agree that it was a misunderstanding. The referee believes them, and they wish each other good luck on the game. Creepy Carrie is writing a letter and leaves it on the counter, and they leave. While Coop's tour bus is driving, they are suddenly pulled over by the police, and the police come onto the bus, saying that there has been a heavy supply of narcotics on the bus. And Coop tells patients that Andre is the culprit. Coach Montez tells the Beverly team to focus on what unites them rather than divides them. She calls Jordan over to her and tells him that even though JJ is starting as QB1, they can equally switch positions. She tells Jordan that he has Asher to thank for that and for coming up with some new plays. Jordan thanks Asher for always having his back and he goes to the field. Asher's dad comes to him and tells him that the x-ray from his chest shows that he has cardiomyopathy. He says that he can't play football again and Asher is devastated. Like, man. Layla's dad, 2.0, comes home and he finds Creepy Carrie's note, which is pretty much a dual suicide note for both of them, and that he is worried about Layla like he should be. He tries calling Layla's phone, but then he finds it in the freezer, and then it cuts to Layla and, and her in her car. Layla says that she can't believe she left her phone at home, and Creepy Carrie says that she that they that they just have each other. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coach Montez overhears Asher, and he's emotional, and I feel so bad for him because things were finally starting to turn around for him. And then he gets hit with this heartbreaking news that he can't play football anymore, and we all know how much that means for, means to him. Like, this dude literally cannot catch a break, and it's just so messed up, man. Both Crenshaw and Beverly's teams are waiting to be called out before the game, and this moment was intense because they are all clearly still feeling the kind of way after their fight. Mo arrives at her home, and Coop surprises her. Coop says that she knows what she was trying to do and that she unloaded all of the drugs before they left for the road. And I'm like, smart move, Coop. Smart move. Coop says that she, um, that Andre w didn't want to be in that life anyway. And Mo pulls a gun on, gun out on her and says that she wants to avenge for her brother's death. And it's like, girl, just stop, Mo. Just stop. Coop tells her that she tried to get revenge for Sean's death and tells her to not go down the same path that she did. Mo attempts to pull the trigger, but she's not fast enough. 
because someone else gets to her first, and that someone is Preach. He shoots Mo, but he also shoots Coop too. Coop screams out for Preach, and he rushes over to her, and the episode ends with Preach holding Coop in his arms, and this was a good way to end the season. To wrap up this video, I'm going to do two quick things. First, my quick thoughts on this episode. This was a really good finale from start to finish. There are so many cliffhangers, and it had me excited for next season. Second, I'm going to do a quick rapid fire of the episode. Favorite scene, Grace giving Spencer that beautiful speech about him. I love that moment. Favorite quote, we made it Spencer by Coop. This moment of them just reflecting on everything and how far they have come was great. Favorite duo, Coach Montez and Asher. Them both were working together to come up with some new plays for the game was great. Favorite look, Layla and that white fish she had on in the studio was cute. And WTF moment, Creepy Carrot leaving that suicide note and getting Layla to come with her to their parents, which I feel like is definitely obviously a trap and I'm worried about her too, <laughs> as well as Coop. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of All American. This was a really good season finale, and I can't wait to watch and review for next season. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe, and see you guys next week.